everyone and welcome to Training Tuesday for September 14th, 2021. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. I am joined for this introduction by Sarek. He's one of our royals at the ranch. He is an exceptionally outgoing Python Regis and he's actually one of my very favorite snakes that I have. Although Python Regis are not one of my top five favorite snake species, he is such an outlier among his species. He's outgoing, he's enthusiastic, he's very active, he's awake a lot, he wants to come out a lot, he explores a lot, and he's been fantastic as far as training goes. Although he is not in tonight's training video. Tonight's training video is very old school, and by that I mean I filmed the whole thing with my phone and I edited the whole thing in iMovie. I'm doing this intro on my phone, and that's because we're having some internet connectivity issues. Our broadband is not the best out here on the ranch. And also one of my video editing programs on my computer crashed. I'm just having all kinds of technical difficulties. So this would be a good time for me to plug my Patreon, which I hardly ever do. I have a Patreon, and if you would like to support the work that I do here and help support the animals, please check out my Patreon and consider contributing. Tonight's video is going to be kind of um, a throwback Training Tuesday video. It's not old footage, all the footage was from tonight, but it is of the very first snake that I ever trained, and she is the whole reason that I started target training in the first place. Her name is Vedra. She's a four-year-old jungle carpet python, and she's beautiful, but unfortunately when she arrived here, she was extremely fearful. She was extremely reactive to any environmental stimuli, anything that changed in her habitat. She was just a very reactive and fearful, shy animal. And so I started training her in order to help her overcome all that and in order to be able to better manage her and just honestly to be able to shift her in and out of her enclosure so that I could change water and clean and do maintenance. And it worked so well that she's now a pretty confident animal, which you'll see in this video. The other snake in tonight's Training Tuesday video is named Sahul, and he's actually one of the first carpet pythons that I ever got in early 2018, March 2018 to be exact. And he's just a good all-around snake, and his target training session was just practice for him. It went really well, and so I included him. So you're going to get to see Vedra. You're going to get to see Sahul. You're going to get to see Sahul shift himself back and Vedra just hanging out after she's done training and eating. This video is sort of by request. Somebody asked on one of our YouTube comments how Vedra was doing and that they would like to see an update about Vedra. She's the very first snake that I ever started target training. And I started that out of necessity because she was so fearful and so shy. She didn't like being touched. She didn't like being handled. She was afraid of everything and very reactive to any environmental stimuli. I started target training her as a way to get her to shift in and out of her enclosure without me having to intrude into her space, without me having to touch her, and so that it could be her choice. And that worked very well. And as a consequence of that, a very beneficial consequence, she habituated to me, she habituated to her environment, and she got used to lots of things and was able to become a much more confident snake. And now she often requests to come out of her enclosure not to shift to eat, but just to roam around the room, just to explore a little bit. She doesn't do that extremely often, but a few times a month, she comes to the door and she actually wants to come out and she's not interested in eating. She's just interested in exploring the space around her. And after she eats, which you'll see at the end of this video, she definitely takes her time going back into her enclosure now, which is unusual. And I'll talk a little bit about that. But let's move on to Sahul. He's a carpet python that's four years old that I actually have had longer than Vedra. And he shifts himself in and out. So he had already shifted out onto the shift stand 
before I was ready. So I just asked him to change directions so he could practice his targeting behavior, which he does obviously very well. And usually when he's finished eating, he shifts himself back into his enclosure. And we're not exactly sure what kind of carpet python he is. He came from Nature's Box Pet Emporium in Aurora, Colorado. And this was before I knew anybody in the carpet python community. It's before I knew any breeders. And it was when I was just getting a carpet python for a family member for a pet snake. I got four carpet pythons from this um, pet shop in the Denver area. And talking with Roy Stewart, now that I know him from Tierra de Morelia, it's likely that he bred this snake um, and that it's a coastal cross of some kind, but we're not exactly sure. But Sahul was hatched in 2017 and he's just an excellent snake. I don't have any issues with him at all. I can handle him. He does ask to come out on occasion, but he's pretty content to just come out periodically. He's very good at shifting. He's very good at targeting. But then when he's done with the exercise, as you see here, he just puts himself away. And now we get back to Vedra. She's been out for quite a while. And this is actually sped up two times, this um, footage that we're going to finish up with. And it's just because she slowly and methodically always investigates her shift tub. This is the shift tub that she lived in when I first got her in 2018, when she was just a little baby. And then it's always been the shift tub that I've used as a transport container, as temporary holding. It's always been what I've shifted her into when I've needed her out of her enclosure. And she still shifts onto it. I don't close her in it. I don't put the lid on unless I have to transport her somewhere. She just shifts out onto it. And she hangs out on it. And she eats on it or inside it. And these are her same perches and everything that she had when she was a baby, but she's so huge now. I can't believe that she used to fit in this and completely be able to stretch out, but she could. So usually now, after she's finished eating, she just hangs out around her shift tub for a while, sometimes a couple of hours before she puts herself away. And that's quite a change because in the beginning, when I started training her in 2018, she would shift out, she would eat, and she would immediately, as fast as she could, shift back into her habitat. And now she's in no hurry to go back inside. In fact, she's very content to just explore for a, quite a while after I've shifted her and if I've shifted her and she's eaten it doesn't matter that she has a full stomach she still likes to explore and hang out and investigate things before she goes back into her living habitat so she's a completely different snake than when she first arrived here everybody thank you so much for watching this week I really appreciate your interest in animal training and behavior, especially in regards to snakes. And if you have any special requests as far as training content or other content, because we do have our Royals at the Ranch series on Thursdays, we have our Serpentes Sunday series, three Sundays out of the month, and we have our Super Dwarf Sunday, one Sunday out of the month. But I'm happy to do any kind of content. I have tons of snakes here and other animals. I am an animal trainer and behaviorist, and so if you want content related to that, I'm happy to do it. I work from home full-time with the animals, and so if there's something specific I can bring to you, please let me know. You can contact me via behavioreducationllc at gmail.com, via Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or just on the comments here on YouTube. And I also have a website, it's behavioreducation.com. Org. I hope you enjoyed this Training Tuesday video, and until next time, everybody please remember to always be kind 
and love your animals.